So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Get the fuck out! Woo! Good morning, Trigos! What's happening? Oh, I wish this game was on a Tuesday night. It's here. It's now. It's game day. We're away for this one. We're off to Hulk. Uh, street. It's Barra v Barnet in the Vanarama National League. My alarm's set for five in the morning. It's going to be a long day. And I can just picture it now, me trying to get out of the house without waking anyone up. But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's hit the film news! So Barra finished 10th last season in the Vanarama National League, where they played 46 times, winning 17, drawing 13, losing 16, scoring 52, conceding 51, giving them a goal difference of plus one, and he ended on 64 points. They're currently top of the league, and the last five games have been three wins and two losses. <laughs> Ian Evett has been in charge since the 15th of June 2018, where he's now taking 47 games, winning 18, drawing 12, losing 17, giving him a win percentage of 38.3. Number eight, John Rooney, who has nine goals in 20 games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. 27th of October 2018, Baron Neil Barnett 2. Manny Dugu and Wesley Fongu with our goals. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Barra. I'm having to record this on a Friday. Because I'm up at five o'clock in the morning to travel all the way up to watch my team play in the Conference North Grand. The new Pokemon games have just come out. So give us three points so I can go home and carry on playing it while sitting in my pants. You bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet. <laughs> Starting 11 for Barnet today in a 4 2 3 1. Loach in goal, your back four. Shad Alexander at right back. Elliot Johnson at left back. Captain Cannon Reynolds and Dan Sweeney is your two centre arse. Two centre mids, Harry Taylor and James Dunn. Three in the advanced midfield role. Medi Alito on the wide left. Mason Clark on the wide right. And Jack Taylor in number 10 role. And up front, Josh Walker. And this is our Barra lineup today in a 4 4 2. Lads, you're top of the league. You're still tweeting your team out. How hard is it to go on Windows Paint and sort something out? 10 minutes in, currently near. Nil, Barra out, attack, quite dangerous. Nice link up play, down our right hand side. K puts the ball into Angus. Angus has a first time shot. Loach down to his right, pushed it for a corner, nothing come of that. 23 in, still nil nil. Barra have played the better football. They're passing around nicely, they're keeping the ball well. Every time we go forward and play the ball forward, it's coming straight back out to us. So we've got nothing up there to make it stick. Rooney's the danger man, he keeps playing the diagonal balls. K, they're trying to overload every time. All the players come down our right hand side. 26 minutes in, Barra 1, Barnett. Nil. Very good and smart goal by Barra. The build-up work, they're very good with how they're setting themselves up. Ball's played into the box along the goal line. Angus dummies it. K back post. No one marking him. Nice finish. 30 seconds after that, we've got an opportunity to get back in the game, make it 1-1. Middle elite crosses the ball in. Jack Taylor rises up with an header. It's just knocked it wide. That's our best chance of the game in the opening 30 minutes. 30 minutes in, Barra 2, Barnet nil. Adam Rooney, take our battle, son. If you meant it or not, what a goal. Loach beating all day long. Players for us out of 
better position. Barra, excellent football. Their movement, it's the best I've seen so far this season. They're not top of the league for no reason. They're very smart. And their play in the final third is excellent. We've just not turned up yet again. Less than five to the half. Score hasn't changed. It's got a little bit scrap in the last couple of minutes. It should be 3-0 to Barra. I don't know how they haven't scored. The play's coming from their left back. The space he's got in the middle played it all away down our left hand side. A semi shot cross going in towards the back post. Two Barra players running in, not enough to tap it in. Half time here at Holker Street and it's Barra 2. It's Banter. FC nil. Credit where credit's due. Barra's been excellent for 45 minutes. The best team that I have seen this season that we've come up against. This hurts me, you know that. It really fucking hurts me. I've already been told by some Doris are swearing too much. Okay, we just can't do a simple thing. Can't clear our lines, can't pass the ball. Christmas is almost upon us and normally people get a dog for Christmas. Give the dog an O. Five minutes in, another chance for Barra. Quigley should have had about four goals in this game. Long ball over the top, he brings it down nice and easy. As a shot, Loach gets hand on it and he goes for a throw in. It's just hasn't changed, hasn't changed at all. I've lost count how many chances Barra have had. I haven't spoken about them all because it would just be me talking about Barra have another chance here, Barra have another chance there. 60 minutes in, another chance for Barra. Angus, pretty much one on one with Loach. Loach managed to hold on to the ball. We didn't have him in goal today. Into last win, Barra still leads to. If they didn't squander half of their chances, this could be a cricket score. Every time Barra go forward, they look dangerous. About five minutes of normal time remaining, the score hasn't changed. Barra keep having chance after chance, keep playing through that through ball, which we somehow still can't pick up on it. And we haven't had a shot on target. Oh, fuck me! We've scored! <laughs> Oh, we've scored. We've pulled one back. You know, I'm shocked we've scored. I can't remember across the ball in. Anyway, we've crossed the ball in. Barrow players miskicked it. It's landed at Jack Taylor and he's just put it in the back of the net. It's 2 1 with about five minutes to go. Into 90th. Barrow still lead 2 1. They've just added on six minutes. So the game finished, Barra 2, Barnet 1. Hold my hands up here and give credit where it's deserved. Barra, by far the best team we've played so far this season. Yes, you heard me correctly. I said Barra. Ian Everett has got them playing some very exciting, aggressive, passionate football. He knew exactly what he wanted from his side in this game. He sussed us out in the warm-up when he was standing there watching us doing a little passing session. Barra deserved the win. First half, we couldn't get near them. They was excellent. We were lucky to go in at Half time just 2 0 down. And in the second half, they wasn't as aggressive, but they picked their moments well and they should have had a few more. They should have walked away winning that game about 8 0. 90% of their attacks come down our right hand side. Shea had no cover at all. So if I can see it in a stand, how can no one else see that who's officiated with this club? Kay, Rooney, and Angus was a joy to watch. Every time Barrow went forward, it was exciting. And I'm not saying that because it's against my team. But us, yet again, no changes. Exactly the same as it is week in, week out now. We've heard it time and time again like a broken record. We're going to put it right next game. This is where our season starts. We're putting it right now. Don't worry about what's happened in the past. Right now is where it all matters. It's like me saying I'm going to go on a diet. Come Monday, yep, I'm on a diet. Come Tuesday evening, I'm sitting down with a two for Tuesday domino stuff on me face. And then by Thursday, oh, I'll go back on my diet again. Monday comes, I'm doing the same thing again on a fucking Tuesday. It's the same thing each and every Every time we're being lied to it's just the same bullshit excuses and people chatting shit all because it didn't go the way that you hoped it would if i say i'm gonna do something at work and i don't do it i could probably end up getting a sack yet we seem to be handing out chance after chance after chance to our management and players all i keep hearing is lies how can i trust you it may seem harsh when i said you deserve everything you get but when you send a striker out on loan and you release a striker when you knew full well that our strikers are injured and you keep playing wingers up front that's on you yes Darren come over to the fans and had a little chat with us and he come out with half the team don't want to play for us either name and shame them don't pick them and play the kids or is it that they just don't want to play for Darren Curry ball FC you've lost the dressing room no one said you don't care Darren I was there when everything was going off after the game someone asked you are you hurting are the players hurting because we're hurting that's all that was said no one said you don't care so I don't know where you've come up with that I don't know how long this can continue for. I still stand by it and say curry out. Ebbs Fleet, Tuesday night, you know what to do. ta -da. He should have been fired years ago. He should have been fired three years ago, two years ago, last year, this year, Sunday, yesterday, today. He should be gone. 
and it's a damn shame that he is not.